And you have a new CD, hooray, coming out, Positive I do. Song, mm -hmm. in September, yes. on Signum Records. And included on the CD are Septet, Paths of Song, Doldabarn, Dolbadarn Castle, and Mapping Wales, oh. I assume in a, a, a chamber music form. Yes. So what informed the selection of the music for the CD, and what should we be listening for? Well, it's harp-based, essentially. So Mapping Wales, I'll be very interested to see what you think of that. In fact, I need to listen to it carefully. Because it's the first, second recording of a piece of mine. Okay, this is a different version because it's string quartet right. um, and harp. But I just think it's just a little bit more, it's less lush and romantic and a little bit more detailed. So it's quite ah. interesting to hear. And then there's septet, which is for the same forces as the Ravel, which is harp, string quartet, flute, and clarinet. And that was a private commission for somebody in honour of his parents. So I did a set of variations where the set of chords on which the variations are built are the DNA of the piece. So I didn't know his parents. I didn't want to pretend to try and put their characteristics. So I, I did something about... So for me, the, the set of chords are the parents of the variations. The variations are the children and the family and the... Um, so it's sort of occasional piece. And then Dolbadan Castle is um, a piece for cello and harp. And that was a commission for the new wing of the National Library, in which, among other things, houses the Turner painting of oh, Dolbadan okay. Castle. And so they asked me to do this commission, I thought, oh, that's going to be easy. You know, that's <laughs> earn some proper money this time. And um, they only wanted a three or four minute piece. And then when I sat down to do it, it was incredibly difficult. Because um, they wanted something that in some ways reflected the painting. And you can't really give an impression of a Turner painting. Because Turner's already so impressionistic. He's already atmospheric. The music's very good at atmosphere and creating, but Turner's already done that. So after a bit, I was really, really scratching my head. And then I happened to be in Montreal, and I saw this wonderful exhibition by Vouillard. It's a French painter I really, really love. And Vouillard was a bit of a polymath because he did furniture and he did stage design and he did textiles as well as wonderful paintings, nearly all paintings of interiors. Then one of the things I saw was a maquette for the paintings and I saw three sketches. I thought, this is it. I'll write a, I'll do the, I'll do Doll Bad and Castle that way. I'll do three kind of things that are a set of notes and then I'll drop in another set of notes to do the same thing. So I've got the same form but a slightly different. And so for then it became like seeing something at you know, have, if you sit in a place and you just see the castle and then in time lapse and three hours later you see it in a slightly different light and it's still exactly the same perspective and then the same again three hours later. So I did these kind of three like filmic or photo takes of the castle. So that was Dolbad and Castle. And then Paths of Song was the ultimate that was the ultimate walking piece because I took this pulse and it's following the walking ideas I was talking about earlier on. And I had a single pulse. The piece is unified by the single pulse. And that pulse goes all the way through. And then sometimes I slow it down so I'll have sort of and it moves very, it seems to move very slowly, it seems almost to hang still, but the pulse is still there. Because theater, theoretically it's still there. Um, and um, that's the piece you know, which I really developed the ideas of the walking and um, you know, the pilgrimage and the wandering and discovering your life by singing. <laughs>